are getting an early start leaving Kansas City Mo. We soon cross over into Kansas City K, continuing our trip towards Moab. And here we are entering Kansas. Here we go. sleep last night uh, we um, uh, we drove around Kansas City in Missouri um, we just did a driving tour after we ate which was delicious we didn't actually do anything but we drove around we saw you know a lot of the city it's a really cool looking city you know don't we're surprised there's a much more lights and you know more, more stuff like that than, than we expected that there would be so you know really cool um, I can see us coming back here again you know staying, staying a, a night or two maybe exploring more downtown seeing some of the nightlife so definitely I think uh, I think we'll be back uh, but now we're back on the road we've left Missouri and we just entered Kansas and this is the last uh, just day of driving um, we expect to roll into Moab tomorrow uh, most of our drive up front will be through Kansas moving into Colorado we'll probably end up stopping somewhere in Colorado but yeah it's kind of up in the air so we'll see what happens all right <music> had another full day of driving ahead of us but that's okay because we were still very excited and filled with anticipation as we knew we were making our way towards Utah to go visit those mighty five national parks that we wanted to see for so long. During this stretch of the drive we did encounter our first bit of rain but fortunately it was fleeting and it didn't really affect us very much. We would be remaining on the 70 for the entire way across Kansas. GPS had it just over 400 miles and approximately 6 hours, but we knew it was going to take longer than that. With the scamp, we're maxed out at 60 miles per hour, and with more frequent stops to fill up, it just was bound to take longer than 6 hours, but that's okay, we were not in a hurry. Alright, so we're just pushing through Kansas here, we're about halfway through now. We had a little bit of rain there, not too bad, maybe about an hour, you know, it, it, it passed, we're, we're through it at least, and you know, we've been pretty lucky besides that, we've only had a few other spots of rain along the trip, so, you know, it's back to clear skies, and we're just keep moving on now, you know, the scenery just continually changes, and right now we're totally in the, in the plains section, and right now it looks pretty much exactly what my classic mental image of Kansas looks like. Yes, Kansas was turning out to be exactly pretty much how I pictured it. I know a lot of people don't necessarily enjoy traveling across Kansas. It can be pretty nondescript and you know less variance in the scenery as you're crossing the state. But for me, it was my first time in Kansas, so being something different, I, I did enjoy it more than maybe someone who traveled it more frequently. Here we come across some wind turbine rotor blades being transported. Now, this is not something I see every day, but I imagine in Kansas this is a pretty common place to find. signs for the wildlife travel center for a while and I was excited and thought it'd be a cool place to stop because I do love animals and I thought we'd get to see some wildlife. I didn't realize they'd all be mounted. Still kind of cool to see but not quite what I expected. Yeah. 
All right, so we made it here to Colorado finally, or really it's more like West Kansas. You know, we're here in Colorado, but it's gonna be about 200 miles before it actually starts feeling like Colorado. But yeah, so far it's been a good drive. You know, it's a little cooler. It's like 69 degrees, which doesn't sound like much, but it's been 90s for weeks, so it feels kind of cold. When we actually get where we're gonna be, I'm probably gonna put some long sleeves on, but yeah, we're excited to be here. Try to stop and grab pictures at the state signs whenever possible, but in some roads it's either just unsafe or impossible to do that. As a good alternative, we found that most welcome centers do have a good sign that do offer good photo opportunity if you can't stop at the border itself. I gotta say guys, it was at this point where it really felt like things were beginning to get real. Now Colorado is one of our favorite states and you know, while I mentioned the eastern half is very flat and plains and very much like an extension of Kansas, we knew that was about to change. Having been here, we knew what was coming. But here we are making our way past Denver, getting very close to our destination. See those mountains in the distance there? That's what it's about. All right, so we're west of Denver now, still going down to 70. You know, each mile of the mountains get bigger and bigger, so you know it really gets you excited. You now, Dawes have been looking at the campsites for the last hour, trying to find a good, good spot to stay, and more importantly, a good campground. And I think she did find a good one. You know, we're staying in Golden which we visited before. It's a cool town, home of course. Um, the campsite she picked out is called Chief Hosa's, I think is how you pronounce it. And it's $30, you know, you got full hookups, so that's a, not full hookups, but you know, electric and water, you know, so for that, it's a good price. She actually called the guy and they'll be, he'll be gone by the time we get there, but he gave us a choice of two spots to pick out when we get there. So, you know, we'll go scope it out and see which one works for us and get set up for the night. Within striking distance of Rocky Mountain National Park, which is one of the best and one of our favorites, but we knew if we took a detour to go visit, it would be late getting out the next day, which would put us behind in our schedule to get to Moab, so we had to forego it for this trip, but another time. In addition to the obvious shift in the terrain, we also are beginning to see more of a change in the trees and the type of foliage that we're seeing. And this is our exit. We're almost to Chief Hosa's, our home for the night. All right, guys, so we're here, we made it. We're at Chief Hosa's, and I gotta say, because like I expected, Dawn picked a really good one. Um, piece of cake getting in, you know, we're all set up now. You can see uh, there's Fanny right there. I can see, there's our spot. We're in number 18 here, 
see we got plenty of space yeah it was real easy getting in um, I knew we had the electric hook up but turns out we actually have water here too I wasn't sure about that so that's pretty sweet no we're not gonna you know do the whole setup pull the awning out do the lights and all that you know this is really just a place to stop for the night I think in a little bit you know we're gonna head into town go into golden or whatever you know go explore a little bit that's half the reason we wanted to stop too and get an actual spot not boondock so we could unhook and go do some stuff since it's still pretty early it's only 6 30 so we got some time here but you know it feels good to be out here out west you know and we technically we're entering the west and went to the arch but really you know in denver when you start to see the mountains that's when it really 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 starts to feel like the west so you know we made it all right so we're about to head into town but before that let's do some sticks As I mentioned, we visited Golden, Colorado before and we enjoyed it very much. Now on that trip we came to see a concert at Red Rocks Park and Amphitheater, which if you're a fan of live music at all, that really should be on your bucket list. It's a venue that's unlike any other, definitely worth checking out. Now Golden is probably best known as being the home of Coors Brewing. They do offer tours, we don't know if they were going on this trip because we didn't look. When we came before, there was a rather lengthy line, so we didn't do it, but it is something I'm very interested in, and I'd like to tour it at some point in time. So we came down to Golden and had dinner at a place called Buffalo Rose. Had just a small little dinner. Dawn had a wedge salad and we shared some cauliflower wings and I had some street tacos. And you know, it was quick, light dinner, and tasty. Um, I guess uh, I, I didn't read this or ask about it, but the, the server's shirt said that Buffalo Bill ate there. So, so I guess that's true. So that's pretty cool about it. But all right, so we're gonna head back to the campground now, I think, and just chill out and relax for a night. It was a very short stop passing through Golden, but it reminded us just how much we like this town. We look forward to our next visit, and as I always say, we'll return. Time to make our way back to Chief Hosa's. All right, so we made it back. We're here in Fanny and uh, about to just chill out for a little bit and then catch some Z's. Tomorrow we're gonna finish up the first leg of our trip and we'll arrive in Moab. Um, so far everything's been great, you know, no issues so far, so knock on wood, you know, everything continues to go smoothly, but yeah, so far we're having a good time, but we're pretty tired, so we're going to call it a night. Good night. Hit that like and hit subscribe. Later.